uh, our program, I feel like we have a great coaching staff here uh, made up of a great group of men that come together. Uh, we all enjoy and love what we do as coaches. Uh, not only do we teach X's and O's here, which I feel like we do a great job doing, but we teach kids about life and experiences that, that they're going to face in life. Uh, and I feel like our coaches do a great job of sharing their experiences uh, that they've had in life with those kids. And I think we prepare them not only for football, but for life after football here. Two, three, go! Let's go! Let's get a win on three. One, two, three. Win. Let's go. Let's go. Camden County coaches are committed to Camden County program. They're, they're committed to the football. They're committed to the boys. Coach Aaron emphasizes that we're teachers first. What if we got a jersey, but we also in like this? You better not have no jersey. You better have them thumbs up, like I said. I, I like to Two, encourage five, a lot as much as I can until a kid won't um, do or learn from what he needs to learn. And then maybe my style may change into a little bit more of a disciplinarian. Got that? Like you like to do? Up downs. Are you listening? Oh yeah, I ain't playing. Up downs. If this shoot ain't here and you get up high or I see jersey, up downs. All of us want to be encouraged and all of us want to succeed. So sometimes we need to just push a little harder to make sure that we succeed. I try to stay positive and upbeat. I try not to uh, be too stern, but sometimes the occasion calls for it. So you've got to adapt. Each individual needs to be coached a different way. And, uh, and my style is to try and figure out what best suits that kid to make him reach the next level. Mello, let's go. Hey. If I had a style, I would say it was just to, to, to make them be accountable to themselves, first of all, then their teammates, to get to the point to where they are playing at a level that every snap they are giving their best effort and using every bit of ability they have. Uh, the coaches are always there for us. So if we ever need um, anybody to talk to, they always take us aside and talk to us. We're all certified by the state to be teachers. And then you have to have a burning desire to be a coach. And then, like we said yesterday, that perfect play is for a reason. That's what, that's what makes us different. If y'all ain't figured it out, that's what separates us from everybody else. We don't get mad when we have to do perfect play 10 times. We accept it. We accept the pain, we, we let it in, and then we bring it. That's what separates us from everybody else. We try to make these guys men and make them accountable and, and teach them how to be a young man. And in the process, you know, being a good football player, I believe it goes hand in hand. You know, if you're a coach, you're a teacher. You know, I told my kids a story about how unique the human body is. You can buy a $400,000 car, but the more you drive it, the worse condition that car is going to be in. And the human body is just the opposite. You know, the harder you push it, the more you drive it, the better and more stronger it gets. And I just, I like to just establish just a physical and a mental toughness beyond what they think they're capable of. <laughs> I think from a coaching standpoint, I'm inspired by the fact that we get a chance every year to take a group of individuals and try to mold them into a team. Let's go, hey, let's go. 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 Ball security touchdowns, baby, all night. Four backs on three, four backs on three. One, two, three. Four back. 